Danny, I want to congratulate you. I heard you were accepted to a three-year program at Johns Hopkins Medical School. Um, tell us a little bit about that program. Well, it's, it's called the Center Scholars Program, and it's based around genetics. And then what it really is comprised of is three summer sessions, one this summer now where I'm going to take a genetics course for three weeks in Pennsylvania, in Carlisle. Then the summer afterwards, I'm going to go to the Johns Hopkins uh, University campus and take a three-week genomics course. And then the summer after that, I'll take six weeks uh, an internship in the Johns Hopkins Medical School Research Center working with genetics. Sounds very challenging. Um, what is the criteria to get into this program? I understand you're the only student from Puerto Rico. Well, um, last summer I went to a program that's also sponsored and organized by the Johns Hopkins University called the CTY, Center for Talented Youth. And then after that they contacted me over this school year and they recognized that I had taken a biology course and invited me to further my studies with this course. I had to send in transcript with my classes and my grades so far. I had to send in teacher recommendations and a letter explaining my interest in the course and in the program. And then once they narrowed it down to a few other students, then they had phone interviews to get to know us better. Concurrent with that accomplishment, we know you made it to the UPR Math Olympics Math Camp, which is a very competitive um, competition. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, it's uh, the UPR Math Olympics is something that happens every year. It's made up of four stages. There's an online test, um, which was taken usually in November, but in case anyone's interested, it's taken now um, from April to May. So right now it's up the test um, starting for the, new, for the new cycle. Then the second phase is a written test in the UPR Mayagüez. After that, you get chosen for a third phase, which is another test. But before you take the test, there are three classes, three separate Saturdays in UPR Mayagüez. And then after the third test, there's a camp. Three days, two days of classes and one day of test taking, which this year was in El Albergue Olimpico. How many people made it to the camp, and how many did you start off with? There were, there were about um, 5,500 or so that started, and then 50 made it to the camp. Wow. We're really, we're really proud of you, Danny. And what do you do for fun? <laughs> well, you know, in Commonwealth, there's lots of opportunities to do a lot of different things. So I get to do sports. I do basketball and cross country and dragon field. And this year, I'm, I'm giving baseball a shot. Um, I get to do music, too, because, you know, last week I participated in the Senior Farewell Concert. And then outside of school, I like to play with a band, too. So there's really lots of things you can do for fun. Well, we wish you continued success, and we're sure many accolades will follow. You're only in 10th grade, so keep up the good work, Danny. Go Comets. Thanks.